I am a BSN nursing student, but not only that, y'all, I am in my senior year. What is it like to be a nursing student? It is stressful. It can make you happy. It can make you sad. It can make you frustrated. But at the end of the day, it's way but loose. It's gonna turn you every which way but loose. What it is, a what's up, what it is, a what's up, what it is, a what's up. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey my name is Tatiana and I am a BSN nursing student and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it's really like to be a nursing student so if you want to watch this video stay tuned okay so you are here because you want to know what it's really like being a nursing student and i feel like i'm really good to tell to be able to give you a little bit of advice because guess what i am a bsn nursing student but not only that y'all i am in my senior year I'm a senior, I'm a senior, I'm a senior. Oh my goodness. Do you know how good that feels for me to be like, I'm a senior, y'all? Because I don't think you know. So, oh my goodness, like being able to say I'm in my senior year is such a blessing for me. And I'm just so, 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 so happy happy so um far as semester terms this would be considered my last excuse me this would be considered to be my last semester as a nursing student but i'm on quarter system so it's two i have two more quarters left which is in reality it's one semester so i'm in my last semester meaning i have less than six months to graduate <laughs> so yes i'm so so happy about that um I wanted to do a follow-up video to the one uh, about what is uh, nursing school like. I wanted to do a kind of a spin to what uh, a nursing student is like, being a, a nursing student. Even though it's kind of, it goes hand in hand, I just want to give a little bit more specifics on you as a nursing student than versus the school. It's going to tie into each other. So, you know, just, just, just bear with me. Just bear with me. Okay, so let's start off with the first thing. What is it like to be a nursing student? <laughs> to me, um, the best way I can describe it is y'all ever see the, ro the roller coasters where it's just like going up, 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 and then you just at the top and you just waiting. And it's just like, you know that you're about to drop. Like you about to get this really insane rush but you like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god that's how nursing school is it's like oh my god oh my god oh. Ah, you're going back forth back 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 <laughs> but it's like it's gonna turn you it's gonna turn you every which way but loose it's gonna turn you every which way but loose but um yeah um but on the real being a nursing student it is a ton of things um, the first thing it is, is can be challenging. Um, challenging is what I mean by challenging is the commitment part. Um, not only are you committing to the program, the nursing program, you're committing to the chance of you being able to finish with those three letters, two letters behind your name, depending on which route that you're taking. And that is a huge commitment. I don't think sometimes a lot of people understand what commitment you're stepping into as a nursing student, because that is big. Um, you're committing two to four years of your life or more, depending on how long it took you to get your prerequisites done on just the fact of the grad, uh, like the gratification towards the end and that's when you're graduating um it, nursing itself is just being mis mis uh, misrepresented a lot sometimes and i'm not sitting here saying that nursing school or being a nursing student is just oh so hard and it's impossible no i'm not saying that 
I'm saying that this is a profession that is not going to be handed to you. For me, it wasn't handed to me. Uh, I feel like if you're in nursing, you had to grind to get to where you're at as a nurse, especially in nursing school itself, because the, honestly, nursing school is really where you're getting the grunt work done, where you're putting in the work to set a foundation for what type of nurse you're going to be once you're grad once you graduate. So, being able to understand what you're getting into is the biggest thing as a nursing student. It's like you're going to be in a committed relationship with nursing school, and sometimes nursing school is going to be bigger than your actual relationship, your family relationship, your spouse relationship, your Dog, every it's gonna be nurse school's gonna be up here, everything else is gonna be down here. So it's like you have to be able to know how to navigate through that as a nursing student, and that can be a little bit challenging. And yeah, and not a lot of people talk about that that type of commitment. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, nurse school's hard, but you have to understand that it's going to take up a lot of your time, and that's another point that I want to mention. You in nursing school, your time is precious, 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 precious. You got to know how to actually be able to distribute your time wisely and be able to do things for yourself, do things for others, do things for nursing school all into one. And that's and and I feel like every anybody that's in nursing um, is good at um, multitasking or has grasped the concept of multitasking because you're going to be doing five things at once and then you're going to be expected to remember remember all of the five things that you're doing at once because you're you're going to be doing this 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 and this and this and this and this so being able to multitask is going to be something that you're doing and learning how to do as a, a nursing student the way that you are at your first semester is nowhere near as how you're going to be once you're finishing towards your last semester, you're going to grow. And I'm not just saying this as an opinion. I'm telling you this as a fact. You're going to grow as a individual. You're going to grow as a student. You're going to grow in ways that you didn't even expect yourself to grow because that's what nursing school does for you. It gives you no choice but to push through and grow and grow. Like you learn, you're going to in nursing school, you're going to leave nursing school with something. You're going to leave with learning something that's going to prepare you or contribute towards your success for your life. So, yeah, I'm just ugh. now now I talked about the challenges of it. Let's talk about a little bit of the the some of my favorite parts of nursing school. Um, number one, it would be the fact that my cohort me and my co uh, my cohort i love my cohort um these are your cohort is going to be people that's in your class that you're going to be with for the next two to four years so if i were you guys i would try to make the best of that not saying that you got to be the best of friends with your cohort but it doesn't help for you it's not going to help you if you're not friendly or you're not acquainted with your cohort because it can be a little difficult because like in my previous videos what you may know what you may not know someone else in your cohort may know and vice versa so being able to network like that because look like these people that you're in school with now I promise you they they, they can end up being in supervisor positions or anything and I'm going to tell you now you're not going to forget who you were in nursing school with. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I, I'm, that's just for me because my cohort is not as big as other cohorts. I'm not going to forget the people that I went to nursing school with. So it could be 10 years from now and I'm trying to get a position somewhere. And my, pre, my classmate is the manager. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember Tatiana. I remember you from school. Oh, yeah, girl, come on. You, you know what? Interview done. Over. Come on, let's go. I need you on my team you know things like that like you are it's important to keep healthy relationships and good relationships with your classmates because you never know when you're gonna run into them again so yeah 
um what else what else nursing about a nurse student it is so fun y'all to go to clinicals and be able to do skills that you spent time doing like in my previous videos i've done uh y'all see me do ng tubes you see me check off for iv insertion foley catheters and these are type of skills that i end up work was like able to do in real life like it is so fun to be able to learn a skill do a skill in lab and then turn around and actually have the opportunity to do it in clinical oh my gosh that is so freaking fun like you can't like oh my gosh it's just like you're gonna be nervous doing it the first time but after you do it you're gonna be like oh my gosh y'all you get you and your classmate oh my gosh y'all i end up doing this foley i got it on the first freaking try oh hey y'all had did this iv and i got it on the first freaking try y'all don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it that's the type of stuff that makes it fun and makes it like yes what i'm actually doing is i'm actually what i'm actually learning i'm actually putting the work in and actually doing it so sometimes it can feel like a lot of textbook 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 stuff but all that is contributing for your foundation that you're going to need towards the future um as you're growing as a nursing student and you, you uh, grow to become a nurse so clinicals can be fun sometimes it can be a little hectic because you in clinicals you're going to be if you're not if you haven't worked in the healthcare setting clinicals is going to be that type of experience where you actually see that for the first time and a lot of times clinicals can show you whether you would want to be in this type of field or not or if you want to be in that particular specialty or not it's just Clinicals is giving you that opportunity to see what you're reading. So, yeah. Um, you're going to be expected to see things and do things and then be able to go and live a normal life after. Like, that's why you have to learn how to set up like a... Don't, don't take... You know how they'd be like, don't bring work in with you. Like, if you had a bad day, don't bring it in and, and, you know, treat the patients bad. It's kind of the same going home. Don't take what you went through at work and bring it home to the point that it's starting to affect you in that, in that instance. Because, like I said, you're going to see gruesome things. You're going to see things that's like, oh my gosh. Like, you might see some things that's going to probably keep you up at night. But you have to know how to navigate and push through that because that's what is expected of you um, as being a nursing student. And this is going to be expected of you as a nurse because you're going to be doing cold. You're going to be in situations where you're going to be in colds where you're, everything is messy or you, you know, you're not able to save this patient's life. Then you have to go home with that. So you have to know how to be able to um handle those types of you know situations um i feel like as a nurse student it is um you are required to think uh critically think all the time meaning you know how to know what be, what's what to be able to do in the most stressful situations and i feel like nursing school prepares you for stressful situations because imagine having to have clinical paperwork sit up here and prepare for tests back to back exams back to back and then have clinicals clinical paperwork and then try to do all of these things then then still have to work if you are working or dealing with your kids if you have kids and then dealing with your family dealing with your relationship all of that stuff can be a lot on one person so imagine when you start to get the hang of that and you're learning how to navigate and get through that a lot of things that bothers other people wouldn't is not going to bother you and i'm just being honest when i say that i'm not saying you're going to be numb to it it's just some things it's not going to be as a big deal to you because of what you've been you know going through in nursing school if that makes sense um nursing school is like it, it it's like it's like Mm, I'm trying to get the words out, y'all. I'm trying to say you're committing to something for two plus years and then you're starting to get towards the end. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, like I literally went through all of this. Nursing school is like an adventure. 
an adventure because you don't know what destination you about to go to next or you don't know what the next day is going to entail or you don't know what the next exam is going to entail so it's just like ooh exciting <laughs> uh, because there's been plenty of times like i said you have your good moments and everything like i've had exams where um exams where i was like i don't even know you know me and my cohort always have a little discussion like i don't know what that was or y'all we we i aced that i did that or it'd be like man i don't know what that i don't know what was on that exam but then that was not what was talked about in lectures so it's kind of like what it's, it's just fun to be able to converse and then you know talk to somebody who gets what you're going through like who gets you it's like nursing student language like you get me you get what i'm saying you it's like you understand the pressures of it's like one question it's one question even though i passed that one question could have gave me a little bit of uh, a little bit more cushion and that would have helped me out towards the end it like you know you stress not stressing but yeah, you stressing over a test, like you, you being able to talk to somebody else who gets that, it's kind of like, yeah, you're not alone. That's why I said being able to understand and be in one with your cohort is so important because you're going to need that support system because not everybody's going to get what you're saying. They're not going to get it. And the only people who are going to get it is people who are in it or doing it, doing the same thing that you're doing. So, yeah, this whew, it's like I said, an adventure, an adventure, an adventure. Um, what else? What else? Um, like I said, clinicals is fun until it's not. Um, like I said, I'm a I'm a night shifter, so clinicals uh, sometimes is like. It can be rough on me sometimes, but I push through it because I, like I said, your why has to be so strong. Like you can't, money cannot just be the sole reason why yet you want to be a nurse. And I'm just, you know, it's not to me. It's a, it's okay to have it as one of, but that can't just be your sole purpose because not all the time. Because how am I trying to explain this? Money cannot just be the strict reason why you want to go into nursing because when you're down to your your exam and you're like and you're thinking about you know um dang if I don't pass this your motivation okay money is a good motivation to have to like to succeed in life but that can't be the only reason why you wanted to do something like this particular profession because you're dealing with people you have people's lives in your hands so you doing it solely for the money can't be just it and because you who was stopping you from walking out and like i don't get paid enough to do this and you just walk out of a pay walk out of a shift because of you know or you don't want to take care of somebody because you're like, oh, I don't get paid enough to do this. Oh, I'm not about to do. You know, uh, it, you're going to don't put yourself in those types of positions. Like if you make sure your why for what you're doing while you're doing nursing school is strong so you can have that strong foundation. So when stuff gets hard, you're realizing, OK, I know I'm doing this. Um, money might be one of the reasons, but I'm doing this to be a role model for my siblings or i'm doing this to to help people um that you have a passion for helping people those are good drivers to have so you can be able to be like yeah I, i'm gonna get through this because i have a passion for helping people and i'm not about to let this exam stop me from getting reaching my goal reaching my dream so yeah keeping that in mind is very very important um let me see what else is it like being a nursing student um very rewarding like i said it's very rewarding to be a nursing student and uh, like i said although we nursing as a profession has been getting like a really really bad a bad representation there is a lot of good in it and we need more nurses we need more doctors we don't you know we need more we need more of us um but it starts with you know 
being able to help each other because like I said nursing school is challenging and not everybody is good test takers or not everybody is good with their skills that's where you have to literally put in the work you got to do the work to get there um that's why I keep that's why I'm referring to your why has to be strong like if you because you don't want to let nobody turn you around family instructors anybody who who can tell you oh you're gonna fail or you're you're not gonna make it whatever the case may be you have to have the mindset of nobody's going to stop me from graduating nobody's going to stop me from passing my test the only person that's going to get in my way is myself and i'm not even going to let myself get in the way of what i'm trying to do so your why for what you're doing has to be strong because that's going to be your motivation that's going to be your driver as a nursing student when you having these long long days studying or you're missing out on all the family events or you can't go out like you used to or you can't spend as much time with your family as you want to or you know you can't get as many hours of sleep as you want to because of what you're trying to accomplish why are you trying to accomplish this if you can't tell yourself if you can't say why you're doing nursing school then what are you doing if you're not sure this is something that you want to do look it up like you got you got you got google you got youtube you got tiktok look up look at try to get as much information for yourself so you can find out what you're trying to do because trying to go into you you don't want to you want to have a plan for yourself and it doesn't have to you know i'm not saying that you have to follow this plan to the t but you want to have an idea of what you're trying to do for yourself because only you can be able to choose what you want to do for yourself don't waste time. Time is valuable. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time on things that, you know, you know, it's not going to benefit you. Um, like I said, you got all the tools that you need to do your own research on stuff. So you'll be, you'll be able to figure things out. Um, but like I said, don't come into nursing thinking that it's just easy and, the money just just the only driver for that because no nursing is bigger than that um so yeah but like i said all in all being a nursing student is stressful it can make you happy it can make you sad it can make you frustrated but at the end of the day i love what i'm doing and nobody's gonna stop me from graduating and being able to become a registered nurse so I can't wait for you guys to see me um, continue the rest of my journey for nursing school. Like I said, I'm going to take you guys along with the journey of that. Um, I'll be uploading more videos on what's going on with the uh, upcoming semester, what classes I'm taking and everything like that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I do want to thank you guys so, so much for subscribing to my channel. We're at like 411 subscribers and I'm going to be doing a giveaway once we reach 500 subscribers. So stay tuned for that to increase your chances. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what classes you're taking. Tell me, you know, any uh, video suggestions um just anything positive any questions you may have yeah so thank you guys so much for watching my channel uh thank you guys so much for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one bye